Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk Witcher Blood Origin. Uh, this is absolutely being torn apart by fans. Not only just you know, not not necessarily even just fans of Henry Cavill, but just fans in general. Absolutely ripped to pieces. Um, the dislikes on this are huge. So it's almost had a million views. You got like twenty-two uh, thousand likes, but the dislikes are absolutely outrageously high um so we're going to dive into this today because just the comments are hilarious like henry is a national treasure the writer's room is deplorable i mean that pretty much sets the scene uh, before we do ladies and gents please do check out in the description box uh, the link to my second channel it's called mistake reviews live archives uh, i'm streaming again with a panel and sort of co-hosts and things and covering very interesting topics some of the topics which you may want me to cover here but it just doesn't really lend itself to these types of videos. So I do them in conversational based format instead. Um, so please do check that out and, you know, hit subscribe and things and support my other endeavors, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this uh, this article is pretty decent. You know, it says Henry Cavill fans reject The Witcher Blood Origin. So the new trailer, this was uh, two days ago now. The new trailer for Blood Origin uh, gets an alarming number of dislikes on YouTube compared to previous videos in the franchise. Uh, and this is the thing, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> at the time, so just to dive into it, it, says it's not looking good for Netflix's The Witcher franchise as Henry Cavill fans aren't happy the Superman actor is no longer a part of the series. So apparently they are rejecting the new Blood Origin series starring Michelle Yeoh. Like she's great, she doesn't deserve this. Just as an FYI, she's really good. But Netflix released the trailer on Thursday, which has over a uh, hundred and sixty-eight thousand views. It's now had just under a million. Um, but while it has 10,000 likes uh, on YouTube, the trailer has also been disliked 8.5 thousand times. And this is at that point. It's substantially more. Uh, so YouTube's obviously disabled the like feature, but you can do Chrome extensions and things like that. So what is alarming is that all the previous videos on Netflix related to The Witcher have tons of likes compared to dislikes. So basically, uh, this, this is all to do with the Henry Cavill news leaving. But not only that, what the... Uh, one of the writers or producers had said, uh, Bo de Mayo, basically coming out and saying, yeah, like, they actively dislike the franchise. Um, you know, they actively mocked it. So, you know, when, when things like that come out, people understandably get uh, a bit irritated, as it were. Just a little bit irritated. Um, and, you know, they are, well, yeah, they are voicing that um, annoyance. Uh, and also concern, I guess, for something which they really like. So just for comparison, you know, Nightmare of the Wolf trailer, 69,000 likes, the 1.4 thousand dislikes. Season 2, 329,000 likes, the 5.3 thousand dislikes. WitcherCon video, 29,000 likes, the 618 dislikes. Uh, Road to Season 2 trailer, 142 to 2.8. And it just goes to show, you know, people did, they had an opinion at a certain point that was, you know, somewhat positive. Um... But yeah, I mean, it, it, it is seeming... I mean, this is the, you know, this is the statement um, from, but like, Bo de Mayo basically being like, oh, yeah, no, people aren't happy with that, blah, blah, blah. Not exactly good. Uh, and, you know, th this Blood Origin looks interesting, FYI. Like, I, I I think it actually looks interesting. It doesn't look terrible, you know. You get some good people in it. Michelle Yeoh. Um, again, I want to see her in more things. It looks okay. But... People are just rejecting it. Henry Cavill is a national treasure. The writer's room is deplorable. Great franchise, it just puzzles me why you had to go and hire writers that actively want to destroy it. And that's the thing. You know, why would you get the rights to a franchise, which I understand that would be expensive, right? They've spent money on this, and then hire writers that actively dislike it. Why would you do that? It's the weirdest decision. The just so bizarre to me that you would do that. Spend uh, presumably millions, you know, getting the rights to this to adapt it, and then go, ah, yeah, those people that like you know laugh in its face. Yeah, we'll just hire them as well. Why would you do that? It's so nonsense. Uh, I thought it could never get worse than the original show. I was pessimistic, but now I'm optimistic. Of course it can, <laughs> but I, I don't think this actually looks that bad. Uh, since the writers actively hated the source material. And this is the thing. They're quoting 
a really really good source on on the show that come out and said yeah they they don't like it they have mocked the material and you can't get around that you know this person um you know they've been hired now by like marvel to do a bunch of stuff they they were writing for marvel anyway they're not a small fry and this Bo de Mayo came out and said yeah no they're not that's not not good i think it was Bo de Mayo anyway um I could be wrong, I'm pretty certain it is. Anyway, so since the writers actively hated the source material, they decided to make a prequel where they can uh, change whatever they like, right? <laughs> um, yeah, and then Henry, again, quotes from Henry Cavill. When it comes to fans, it is a fan's right to have whatever opinion they want to have. I don't necessarily consider that toxic. I just consider that passionate. Uh, did the writers actively dislike this one as well? You can't get around this, Netflix. Like, why the fuck did you hire writers that don't like the source material? Why? I love that they're making a prequel before the series is even over. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I don't think they realise that this <laughs> It doesn't reflect like well on them, actually. Um... <laughs> and this is a pretty bad... Um... This is a pretty bad thing as well, to be fair. Um, they say, oh, what was it? Uh, I, uh, I like the part where the Netflix, blah, blah, blah. Um, three to four years, I was excited. Give us Henry back. Uh, it's giving Wheel of Time vibes, then which approval? So funny. So funny. Uh, nothing is the same without Cavill. Loved it when Geralt said it's witching time. <laughs> I love the uh, Morbius quotes. I love that so much. So funny. Uh, without Henry, I'm not going to invest more time into the franchise. And this is the thing. People are just universally going, nope, I'm done. Uh, if I didn't saw Witcher in the title, I would have never have thought that this has anything to do with Sapkowski's world. Uh, I'm not familiar with it overall. So this, to me, looks okay. But those more familiar will probably be like, uh, yeah, shit. I like the part when Geralt got a new suit of armor and said it's perfect. And Yennefer replied, it will be. When it fits a woman. I love this stuff. It's so funny. So, yeah, not good. Um, and the people are just, again, they're just rejecting it. Out and out rejecting it. They've just had enough, you know. And you've now got reports that Disney are laying people off left, right and center. Massive cuts. And you just go, well, yeah, no shit. Like, this is why. This is why this happens. Um... People are rejecting this stuff now. They've had enough. Absolutely had enough. So let me know what you think down below. Again, you know, will you now watch... I guess will you watch the the last season that Henry Cavill's in? Probably, probably not, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, cheers, guys. Take care.